expanding the Charger platform for 2020, adding a wide-body package as standard on the Charger SRT Hellcat and as an option on the Charger Scat Pack. Mopar and Dodge SRT took the wraps off a new fourth generation version of the factory built racetrack only Mopar Dodge Challenger Drag Pack car at the 2019 Specialty Equipment Market Association or SEMA show. A highly anticipated 2020 Jeep Gladiator midsize truck is on its way to FCA dealerships. The 2020 Ram 1500 Eco Diesel will become America's most powerful half-ton diesel pickup with 480 pound-feet of torque when it goes on sale in the fourth quarter of 2019. Ram rolled into the 2019 North American International Auto Show ready to work, unveiling the redesigned 2019 Ram heavy-duty pickups. The Ram 1500 made news again this year at the Detroit Show, winning honors as the North American Truck of the Year. The Pentastar V6 engine reached a major milestone this week with the 10 millionth engine built. FCA announced it will invest $4.5 billion in five of its Michigan plants and will work with the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan on building a new assembly plant within the city limits to meet the growing demand for the Jeep and Ram brands. Jeep unveiled the new Jeep Renegade and Jeep Compass plug-in hybrid electric models at the Geneva International Motor Show. The Fiat 500X Sport carries new front and rear fascia designs, body color side moldings, and dark finish exterior accents, plus an all-new Rovente Red paint color. For the first time in North America, Jeep Wrangler buyers now have the option of diesel engine technology to improve driving performance on and off-road. FCA is mourning the loss of one of its legendary leaders, Lee Iacocca. Tommy Johnson Jr. drove his Mopar-powered Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Funny Car to the win at the Dodge Mile High NHRA Nationals in Colorado last weekend. The weather was perfect, the drag racing was great, and more than 47,000 people celebrated the culture of performance cars at the 5th Annual Roadkill Nights powered by Dodge. The FCA Automotive Research and Development Center in Windsor, Ontario opened a new Vehicle Dynamic Simulator Lab. Chrysler is turning up the heat in the minivan segment, adding a new Red S edition for the 2020 model year. FCA has confirmed that the company and the UAW have reached a tentative agreement on a new four-year contract. FCA marked a milestone in the construction of a new paint shop at a new assembly plant being built on Detroit's east side with a topping off ceremony. FCA and Group PSA have signed a binding combination agreement that provides for a 50-50 merger of their businesses. 2019 has been a year that was all about driving forward, and we aren't slowing down. We hope you come along with us on our journey together into 2020. From all of us at FCA Digital Media, I'm Peter Spezia, wishing you happy holidays and a happy new year.